Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript video tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand regular expressions in JavaScript. We understood what is REGEXP object. We understood applications of regular expressions. We understood how do we define a variable of type regular expression in JavaScript. We understood various regular expression methods like test method and exec method. Then we understood using flags with regular expressions. We understood the i flag, g flag. Then we understood using meta characters with regular expressions. We understood using meta characters with regular expressions. Dot, backward slash dot, backward slash w, backward slash d. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss using begins with and ends with meta characters with regular expressions. We know that sequence of characters enclosed in between pair of forward slash symbols indicates a regular expression in JavaScript. Sequence of characters enclosed in between pair of forward slash symbols indicates a regular expression guys. We have begins with and ends with meta characters. What, are, what is the use of begins with and ends with meta characters? Begins with and ends with meta characters are used to test whether a given string begins with a specific pattern and or ends with a specific pattern. Begins with and ends with meta characters are used to test whether a given string begins with a specific pattern and or ends with a specific pattern. For example, caret symbol indicates begins with caret a indicates whether a given string begins with a character. Caret a indicates whether a given string begins with a character. We have dollar. Dollar indicates ends with. If you write a dollar, a dollar indicates whether a given string ends with a character guys. Let's have a demo and understand everything clearly step by step. I minimize the word files. Here I have default.html page. I right click on it. Say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. I have already written basic HTML5 document structure code. Title is set to default page. In the body section, I have written script tag. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page. Open with Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to default page. Title is set to default page. Here in the script tag, I say document.write bracket bracket semicolon. Now, I want to write a regular expression to test whether the given string begins with the capital letter A. So I use the caret symbol. As I told, caret symbol indicates begins with. I say capital letter A. As I told, sequence of characters enclosed in between pair of forward slash symbols indicates a regular expression guys. On the regular expression, I call the test method. In the previous video tutorials, we discussed the test method. Test method is used to test, is there a match or no match between the regular expression and the given string. If there is a match, then it returns true, otherwise it returns false. Test method is used to test, is there a match or no match between the regular expression and the given string. Here, I am going to give a string and I say here, agent 007 is the best agent. I am telling to the test method to check whether the given string begins with capital letter A. Of course, this string begins with capital letter A definitely will get here true as the output. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got true. I go back. Then I say here document dot write. I am adding a line break guys. I say here br. I am going to copy this code and paste down. Now what I do, I replace this capital letter A with some other character, let's say B. We are telling to the test method to check whether the given string begins with capital letter A. Of course, the given string begins with capital letter B, not A. So definitely we will get false. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we are getting false. I go back. I am going to copy this code and paste. Now I want to tell to the test method to check whether the given string begins with the word agent. 
and here I say capital letter A. I am telling to the test method to check whether the given string begins with the agent word. Of course, this string begins with the agent word. Definitely will get true guys. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got true. I go back. I'm going to copy this code and paste down. This time I say, check whether the given string begins with agent 007. Of course, the given string begins with agent 007 will get true again. File, save, go to browser and refresh, right? I go back. I'm going to copy this code and paste down. Now I replace this 7 with 8. I am telling to the test method to check whether the given string begins with agent 007. This time the given string is not beginning with agent 007. It's beginning with agent 008. So we'll get here false F A L S C. File, save, go to browser and refresh. So that is how begins with meta character works guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I am going to copy this code and then I comment this code forward slash star and star forward slash. I hope you guys have clearly understood begins with. Let's understand ends with. So now what I say here, I am agent 007. This time what I do, I am going to tell to the test method to check whether the given string ends with the digit 7. I say here 7 and then I say dollar guys. I am telling to the test method to check whether the given string ends with 7. Dollar indicates ends with guys. Of course the given string ends with 7 definitely will get true guys. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See we got true. I go back. I am going to copy this code and paste down. And I replace agent 007 with 8. Agent 008. Definitely, the given string is not ending with 7, right? It is ending with 8, will get false. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got false. I go back. I'm going to copy this code and paste. Now, I want to tell to the test method to check whether the given string ends with agent 007. And I replace this with 7. Of course, the given string ends with agent 007 ends with agent 007 will get true guys file save go to browser and refresh see we got true i go back i'm going to copy this code and paste down and i replace this 7 with 8 so this time what happens definitely will get false because i'm telling to the test method to check whether the given string ends with dollar means ends with agent 007 Definitely it is not ending with agent 007, we'll get false. File, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we got false. So that is how ends with works guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I'm going to comment this code also, forward slash star and then star forward slash. I'm going to copy this code and paste down. Now, I want to tell to the test method to check whether the given string begins with and ends with agent 007. How do we say that? We say caret agent 007 and then we write the dollar symbol. What's the meaning of that? Whether the given string begins with agent 007, right? Agent 007 and ends with agent 007. That means from the right hand side, if we check, we have 7, 7, we have 0, 0, we have 0, 0, we have T, T, we have N, N, we have E, E, we have G, G, we have A, A. From the left hand side if we check, we have A, A, G, G, E, E, N, N, T, T, 0, 0, 0, 0, 7, 7. So we have exact match. Definitely we will get true guys. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. See, we are getting true. If I copy this code and paste down and replace this agent 007 with something else, let's say here I'm going to replace this n with agent dash t007. Definitely we'll get false. I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. We got false. 
right we are telling to the test method to check whether the given string begins with agent 007 of course it is not beginning with agent 007 it is beginning with aj agen dash so we'll get false if there is an exact match then only it works guys understanding so you can check whether the given string begins with a specific character or sequence of character you can test whether the given string ends with a specific character or sequence of characters you can also check whether the given string begins with and ends with a specific character or sequence of characters guys i hope you guys have clearly understood i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about regular expressions if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited for more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.